Loma assures that Lucius is still operating within the initial master plan and would be closed in about 30 months, which is around July 2021. However, for a waste management consultant, Mr. Olubenga Adebola, Lucius may not need to be shut down. Instead, it requires implementation of innovative techniques in waste conversion. I'm looking at a transition of Olushosun from what it is right now, which is just a, a, a dump site, a dumping ground, onto what I call a waste treatment facility. I'm looking at that transition. So what that simply means is that instead of just dumping, bringing waste and dumping and burying as it were, as it is happening right now, I'm looking at a situation whereby Olushosun can be converted into a waste treatment facility where when waste are brought in, they are treated based on the best environmental um, um, conditions as enshrined, you know, uh, which is internationally acceptable, whereby the waste are themselves sorted out into either three main components, the compostables, I've talked about this severally, the recyclables, and then the, com the combustibles. So that the waste is safe, Olushosun will be, first of all, transformed into an MRF, a material recovery facility, where all the waste that comes in there are sorted, are sorted out into different waste components. And when they are sorted out, you have, for instance, a waste, a waste um, to energy facility at that Olushosun, where the waste that are combustible will be taken to that facility and then it converts the waste itself into electricity, energy. And then you have the recyclables. You can have PET plastic recycling facility. Olushosun is big. It's about 42.7 hectares of land. So you can use it, rather, and that will prevent all the environmental health hazards that is actually happening there. I remember as far back as um, 2012, Loma actually attempted to do a recovery, a tapping of the biogas, and they are still there. So that with the, with, the, with, the, with the view of converting, cleaning up the biogas, which is mainly methane, which is highly potent, 21 times stronger than the, uh, than the carbon dioxide, was to be used, tap it, clean it up, and then use it to generate electricity by using it to turn a turbine. That was there. You can make a research since 2012. By 2013, 2014, we ought to have gotten a full, in fact, it was also uh, to be sponsored by the World Bank because it was supposed to be uh, a clean mechanism, um, CDM, clean development mechanism, which was supposed to all actually uh, get some money, you know, for reducing, you know, the carbon dioxide and the methane. Environmental consultant Professor Babajide Alo looks beyond Olushosun and asks for adoption of global invented practices in handling waste. We are over mature to have a proper engineered landfill. A proper engineered landfill is not rocket science in these days of technology. A properly engineered landfill will be constructed that will take waste and we will also in that in that engineered landfill system that we are going to build we'll have a material recovery facility as an aside we'll have segregation facility as an aside so that what goes into the landfill will be minuscule will be small because we would have sorted out the waste and would have been able to therefore send only biodegradables down the other ones that are not degradable, we we'll send to a small recycling plant, what we call a material recovery facility. Globally, the UN environment had advised all governments, all the 195 countries of the world, that nobody should go the way of open dump sites anymore for municipal waste management. There are now technologies cheap and simple for managing municipal waste all over the world. Indeed, Part of the part of what can be done with the issues is to set up this 
material recovery facilities, waste to energy, waste to... And start excavating the waste in Olushosu to those facilities and let them turn them into useful products. Because these days, really nothing is called waste anymore. Because what is waste for one person is the starting material, is the raw material for another person's facility. So all of what we see at Olushosu can be gradually excavated. Our hope that all that waste in that dump site will go away, that hope is a mirage. But it would never go away. It will never degrade by itself because they are not degradable materials that are in Olushosu presently. Olushosu has all kinds of different waste there. Metals, plastics, food waste, all kinds of various things. The plastics and the uh, rubber tires and all that will never degrade. So the only thing we can do is to excavate it and send them into a re uh, recovery facility and turn them into useful products. Because as we said, the waste of one individual is the starting material for another factory. Loma assures that considerations have been given to global best practices and plans for implementation are in place to handle the pressure even before the closure of Olushosun. We are developing the standard landfill sites way outside the city. But what we happen in the city is that we are going to replace, we're going to have about uh, 20 transfer stations and material stations. So vehicles are not supposed to travel long distance to go and dump their refuse. They're supposed to, the travel time should not be more than 18 kilometers within an hour to the dump site and back. That's the turnaround time, we call it. So the turnaround time shouldn't be more than 18 kilometers within one hour uh, for them to go. And uh, that can only happen with the transfer stations. For city like Lagos, the master plan is to have 20 transfer stations, minimum of 20 transfer stations. We, we have four right now, three owned by government, one owned by the private investor, 16 more to go. And that we have land and locations where this thing are going to be built by private investors. Uh, the one owned by government will go out under concessional arrangement. And that uh, we have private investors that will build. And that uh, they'll be able to recover uh, the cost of the operation, the investment uh, from those sites. So waste collectors are supposed to collect their waste and go inside those facilities, dump their waste and go back for collection. Why the transfer station that will be dotted all over Lagos City we really want to now move their waste with the very long trailers, transfer trailers, 56 foot trailers that will haul the waste towards a longer distance. Almost 40, 50 tons of waste will be moved at once uh, to the dump site that will be way, way out of town. That is a strategy. And I'm sure in the next uh, few months, we should, uh, we, should, we should be getting closer to achieving that. To the residents and property owners around Olushosu, it seems patience is needed and hopefully Loma and the Lagos State Government will carry them along in the implementation of the Waste Management Plan of the state. That's our story. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ini John Mekwa.